Hi, I'm Flavia. Welcome to this video on experiencing the sacred in Byzantine Greece. So in this video, you will learn how Byzantine sacred space was experienced in the 11th century. But how you're going to learn this? We're going to look together at our architecture, mosaics, light and wall paintings worked in one specific monument. At the same time though, you will get a glimpse also of what is Byzantine art. Now, before we start and go to see this specific monument, let's have a look at what is Byzantine art. This is a very difficult question. Let's say that generally uh, traditional scholarship consider Byzantine art every artistic production produced under the territories of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire was also called Eastern Roman Empire and the Byzantine called themselves Romans. But why? Uh, in 303 current era, the Emperor Constantine I created a second capital of the Roman Empire and, it, and called it Constantinople. It was on nearby the oldest settlement of Byzantium and this is why we call it Byzantine Empire. Constantinople remained the capital of the empire even when Rome fell and the Roman Empire, as we know it today, was dissolved. However, the eastern part continued to live and to thrive for other 1,000 years. Indeed, the end of the Byzantine Empire is considered the capture of Constantinople in 1453 by the, by the Ottoman Sultan Mehmet I. Now let's go and see our building. Okay, the building is the Catholicon of Osos Lucas. Okay, I've been using three words which comes from Greek and Catholicon means the main church of a monastery, Osios means saint, Lucas means Luke. So we're going to look at the main church of the monastery of Saint Luke in Beosha in Greece. I'm going to use Catholicon in this video pretty often for one specific reason. Because if you're interested to know more about this church, even to Google it or start to make a bit more research in a library, the church is known with this word and not as a church. Now, this building is unique in many aspects. It is one of the oldest and most luxurious and complete survival medieval building that testifies the changes in architectural shape and interior decoration in Byzantine, that happened in Byzantine art from after the triumph of orthodoxy um, and later. So, but why it is the oldest surviving examples? Because between 943 and the 11th century, many cent some, some years have passed. And the reason is that there were surely many churches in Constantinople and Anatolia which were decorated according to the guidelines after the, triumph, after the triumphs of orthodoxy. However, they didn't survive up to today because of history of destructions. But we know about them thanks to medieval and Byzantine descriptions. So in this way we can see and we can um, recognize Osus Lucas and Osus Lucas decoration as something that was complying with these guidelines. 